Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. Today, we're going to prime a whole bunch of parts for the World War II Rat Rod Jeep. Um, kind of show you how I mount stuff up. I kind of pre-assembled it, but uh, kind of show you what I've done, how I've mounted things, getting things prepped and, you know, ready for paint like that. So... The body is just going to sit uh, on a stand. Um, you'll see that in uh, the time lapse. Um, it's got a little bit of primer on it, uh, but uh, still got to finish priming that. Uh, radiator and stuff, I drilled two holes in the headlights because I know I'm going to run uh, headlight wires on this kit and just stuck a toothpick up in one of the holes. Um, works pretty well. Uh, let's see the frame. I happen to have a little hole where the transmission mounts. So same thing. I just took a Toothpick and a couple of these clamps that I absolutely love. I need to get more of but uh, So that's all ready <clears throat> uh, Motor components um, heads all that stuff intake or just a little tab goes into the motor um, Just put a clamp on that because I know that's gonna go inside the motor same with like the intake and all that back there. Uh, the wheels and tires I'm going to prime because I'm actually going to paint them black. So I can see another toothpick. I cut down the ends until they fit just perfectly into the holes for mounting on the axle there. Uh, front tire, same thing, but this one ended up being a square bar because that's all I had that fit inside that big gaping hole. And it holds just enough to shoot some primer and probably some paint and I'll do the same way. Um, front axle in the stud that comes out of the axle I drilled a small pinhole and then shoved a toothpick in there to hold that <clears throat> ah. um, rear axle these little studs are what hold on the rim to center them and everything um, that's what I've just grabbed onto on the bottom with these little pliers that I guess I think they're I don't even know what they're really for um, there's the 50 caliber. I just put it on the front nose because that's pretty easy to touch up. Um, and then for little things that can kind of lay flat like the dash, the stand for the 50 cal, um, that's the grill. Um, I just took a little sanding board that I had and stuck some tape upside down and taped the ends around and there we go. So the primer I'm using is... Uh, <clears throat> Scale Finishes Primer, this is part of their new line that they have that I'm kind of testing out. I've seen some other people using it. Um, some upcoming news about Scale Finishes in the next video. Um, been working with him on some projects and stuff, so I'll be uh, showing that. He also has, this is, to let you guys know, this is ready to spray. All you got to do is shake it up really well and ready to spray. There's no hardener, nothing like that. So we're going to give this a try and see how it likes um, he also now has clear that is going on this car along with the paint um, this stuff's ready to spray I don't know how it's gonna work yet because I haven't used it so when it comes to clear we will be using this clear the paint see if I can shake this up is a military green mmm yes this is gonna be fun to spray um, I've used scale finishes paint in the past I absolutely love it um, if you want more information about scale finishes uh, check the links down below um, there'll be a link to his website um, yeah so I guess uh, I'll get this all set up in the booth and do a little time lapse I'll talk to you guys in a little bit Welcome back guys. I grabbed a few of these uh, items. Um, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you After the time-lapse 
I cleaned out my brush and look at this. No fingerprints, nothing. This primer is freaking awesome. Uh, first time using it and I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know how well my camera is going to pick up, but you can see it didn't lose one bit of detail on any of these parts. You can pull that off. Here, I'll just hold it. You can see all the detail is still there. Um, the uh, Viper that's uh, on that you can still read perfectly clear it's this stuff is just absolutely phenomenal uh 50 caliber didn't lose any of its detail um in any of the parts uh the motor um transmission it's just all perfectly crisp it's all perfectly clean um the coils all that you know is all just absolutely beautiful um, I'm very 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 happy with these uh, with scale finishes primer um, if you guys are looking for a new primer I tell you what I'd recommend this primer all day long every single day I I absolutely believe in this primer um, I've shot in a lot of primer throughout the you know the couple of years that I've been been modeling um little background i did collision repair for oh four years or so um spray helped spray a lot of primer there um i sprayed them on my models the same primers and stuff and there's nothing that uh compares to this um i there is still some brands out there i haven't tried i'm not saying this is the only primer this is kind of my review and I am absolutely ecstatic on it. You, know, you can see the wipers right there. They just, nothing. There's no buildup. It lays down perfectly smooth. Um, sprays really, really, really nicely. Um, my airbrush had a little bit of issues, but that's on my behalf because last time I used it, I didn't clean it out very well. So that's my bad. But uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the this video and uh until next time this is dragon speed shop and i'm out <laughs>